it is me and my tea again. And as we are quickly approaching the season, or the day, I should say, of love, I thought I would do a little unboxing of something a bit romantic. So, I picked up some candles from Mythology Candle, and I thought I would do a quick little unboxing and tell you what they smell like, because what's more romantic than maybe a little candlelight dinner or, you know, other things by candlelight. So, I have already taken the label off and it's time to delve into these magical scents. Now, if you're unfamiliar with um, Mythology Candles, it is a really nice indie candle company and they make wonderful fantasy inspired candles. They have like a whole Dark Academia line, they have a Cottage Core line, and they have other really fun candles. So here is our lovely person that made the candles, Leah, and she also does um, hard rock music, which is really, really cool, and the whole reason she started this company was um, she came out with her, I believe, Christmas album, and she wanted candles that went with the vibe of that album, and so Mythology Candles was born. So here's the lovely person that packaged my order, and just little informa information about our candles and how to burn them. So there are different types of candles you can get. You can get um, regular cotton wick candles, or you could splurge and go for a deluxe wood wick, which I believe some of these were. So here's the first one. It is fantasy inspired. Very nice packaging. Absolutely love the details on it. Doo -doo -doo. Yes, I think this one was a deluxe. So this one I picked up for my mom. This is the Tudor House Library, and its mood is forbidden books, stained glass, aged wood, worn pages, notes of amber, clove, citrus patchouli, musk, and vanilla. And there is our lovely wood wick, and it's in a nice amber bottle, and the lid is really pretty and wooden and just absolutely stunning. And this one is so good. Mm, you can definitely smell the patchouli in there, but you get more of the kind of the spiciness to it with that hint of vanilla. It is absolutely wonderful, and it really goes with the vibe of my bookshelf right now. Enjoy it while you can. I'm probably going to be changing it back to my regular books now that um, kind of cozy, spooky, old-timey season is done. But I'll just put my Tudor House Library right there. Now for the next candle. Same packaging. And if you're interested in picking up some of these candles, I will link down below, um, if I can find it, um, the links for these candles. So if you're interested in one of these, and also the link for the Mythology Candle um, website itself. So our next candle, ooh, I don't know if we can get it to focus. It is Castle Gift Shop. Feel Feet shuffle upon stone floors, smoothed by centuries of travelers. Local of travelers, local trinkets line the shelves, promising memories and magic. Notes of forgotten curiosities and leather pouches filled with juniper berries, spun with ancient magic and black dried black petals. So it is also deluxe. Ooh, yeah. So this one you can really smell the leather in it. So if you're looking for a more maybe like a more masculine scented candle this would definitely be the one for you it's not all that floral it's really very leathery so this one almost makes me think of old books also with maybe a little dash of like Abercrombie and Fitch circa 2005 but I am loving this um, I think this one will be good for reading some book dark academia books so the next one I think is going to be the one that has um, some of the cottage core collection in it. So out with the packaging. Oh, this one has a cute little because it's cottage core. It has a different um, little card in it, and it is so adorable with the little rabbit. And then here is our care instructions. I do know a really really important thing with. Um, candles is when you light it for the first time 
to make sure that the wax melts all the way across because candles actually kind of have a little bit of a memory. So if you don't melt it all the way across, that's when you get that well of like the ring of, of wax and then it just kind of sinks down. So if you don't want that to happen, make sure the first time that you burn it that you melt it all the way across. So next, more candles. And I got three in this order. Doo -doo -doo. Oh yes, actually this one is just in time for St. Patrick's Day kind of, cause we have the Book of Kells. So this one was from their history line, I believe. And it has a beautiful label on it. They also have, um, I think one called Emerald Isles and Angry Leprechaun, I think is what it's called. I just saw the email and it's going to be green wax. So that's really fun. So the Book of Kells, deep within the ancient monasteries of the British Isles, ho hooded monks paint intricate artwork onto delicate pages of illuminated manuscript. Notes of damp ink, leather bound covers, sweet musk, and dried lavender between pages. So again, wooden wick. Oh yeah, the leather and the lavender smell so good together. So I guess this one is floral and slightly masculine. So uh, very kind of romantic. This one definitely smells very, very nice. And they look fantastic on the shelf. Ooh, this um, design on the label looks great with the books. So if you need background candles, my dear booktubers, I definitely think Book of Kells is your background candle. Another candle. I think this one is a standard candle, if I remember right. Yes. So this has the um, screw top lid and then the regular wick, not a wood wick. So this is Board and Bishop. I do believe this was from the Dark Academia line. I'll have to double check that. But it says, pieces slide across the polished board, friendly foes locked in mental combat, in a qui room quiet except for the ticking of a clock. Notes of notes of the glow of warm amber glistening off of the rich wood of a well-used chessboard with the gentle caress of tonka bean and midnight vanilla mm, so definitely lots of vanilla and you get that bit of amber it's kind of like a really um ooh, i'm trying to think something that everyone else would know mm, think warm vanilla sugar from bath and body works meets dark academia. It's a dark academia warm vanilla sugar. So if you like your vanillas, this one would be for you. And then lastly, we have our cottage core candle and it's in a different wrapper that is so stinking cute. And if you want really cute, um, I'll probably link up there or down below. Um, my last mythology candle videos was for the cottage core winter slash fall line. And it had lots of cute, whimsical um, candles in it that were absolutely wonderful. And I do think they're still available. So I will also link those down below. And oh, I'm so excited. Now I will say, since these are hand poured, it does take a bit longer to ship them because these candles are made fresh, which is wonderful. It's so cool to think of fresh candles. Um, so afternoon tea, crumbling fresh herbs between hard working fingers, loose leaf tea is set into the teapot as the kettle sings that it is ready. A wrought iron chair and an old book sits welcoming in the sun on the sun warm patio notes of english tea leaves and refreshing citrus swirled with a dash of white cane sugar i'm super excited to smell this yes oh mm. so uh, this one is also a regular wick but it's still in its lovely amber jar and mm, this smells so good it smells like tea with lemon and a bit of sugar. It's so good and very calming for me. I love this scent so much. It really reminds me of every now and then Bath and Body Works will re-release a candle called, it's either like Tea and Lemon or London or London's Calling and it's that lovely tea scent and this one is 
I think better than that, and I really love that other candle, but this one, oh, it is absolute chef's kiss, and I would 10 out of 10 highly recommend um, afternoon tea. It is splendid. So there is my haul. I have three deluxe wood wick candles and then two regular cotton wicks. Uh, if I remember right, the difference between regular and deluxe is not too terrible. I think it's like three or four dollars more for the wood wick. So if you want that crackling wood and the really nice lid, you can go for that. Or if you just want the scent of your candle, just go with the regular um, cotton wick. But yeah, there are my candles. Please do comment down below which one would pique your interest. And um, yeah, hopefully if you want to order, you can have a romantic treat a bit after Valentine's Day because who says we only need love on one day of the year? I personally think that love should be every day of the year, especially if it's like really cute and whimsical and romantic, like the little cottage core. I think a cottage cord valentines would be absolutely splendid. Well, everybody, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Ooh, if you're interested in knowing what tea I got, that's also kind of romantic. Um, I was hoping to do a video, but it got stuck in the mail. And I will hopefully um, do a unboxing of that soon. But it is from Magic Hour Tea. This is the Gypsy Rose Tea. And it is a rose black tea, and it's absolutely divine. And also, I'm going to let all of you lovely subscribers know that um, the videos that will be coming up soon are not my usual types of video. Don't worry, I'm not completely changing my channel. It's just um, certain tractor-themed videos are coming. It's the once-a-year thing. If you're familiar to my channel, you know that come every... February, those videos are coming and they are coming soon. So, um, maybe skip the videos this week if you're not interested in tractors and just wait till next week when I think my fairy loot and my owl crate will be arriving. So, that being said, don't panic. I'll be back to my regularly scheduled tea books and good smelly stuff soon. So, that being said, thanks so much for watching, everybody. If you're interested in checking out another video, you can go ahead and click right here and if you're new welcome to my channel and go ahead and hit that subscribe button so that you never miss my videos ever again and if you're interested in supporting this channel there is a button down below and you can join and become one of my channel members and help support my shenanigans here and thanks so much for watching and i will see you all later bye